Today's topic. Um, how do I start this? <laughs> what, 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 what's this? What? What? Why? Why the hesitation? Twin sisters. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, thank you. And before anybody gets upset, be like, oh, you guys really wanted us to give them like a courtesy. That's the least we could have done before we do a video uh, shitting on them. So I messaged Walter and I let him know. I'm like, hey, man, just wanted to give you a courtesy heads up that we're going to cover you simping for a sugar baby. So I did let him know before we did a video on him. <laughs> oh, my God. See, we learn. We grow. We get better. So. I'm going to say this before this whole thing starts. Was <laughs> <laughs> that too much? I personally do not care who anybody dates. Me, it's just like the need to lie to your fans, the need to be a hypocrite about your own ideals. And so I'm going to just play the video and you guys can see what unfolded. I'm going to just give you guys a quick summary so you guys understand where we're at. All right, Fresh Prince CEO, all right, the big fraud. He himself claims that he's fallen in love with the woman or he's really gotten into her and that she's into him. For him, DJ Academics came on the podcast, said, hey, bro, that girl's not into you for you. You said something on like last show when I was on. Mm -hmm. It was a little bit alarming. I have to be careful what they want me for. That being yeah. said, this shorty that here, bro. Listen, listen, listen. <laughs> that shorty there, bro, wants me for me. 100%. All right. Yeah, you, got it, what you, want. you said she was very different from every girl you meet in Miami when I've heard you speak about every girl in Miami before. You generalized. No, that being said, when I met her. I saw she didn't, hadn't been tainted yet. She hadn't been like in certain circles where like, you know what? Damn, she's gone through the streets. If he says that being said one more time, if he says that being said one more time, I, I, I think- I, I, I get what you're saying. I get I, what you're saying. I, I, I think I'm going to have to- but, 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 you know, that being I, said, let's just let the video <laughs> play, okay? What does it mean mm -hmm. that she's different and not thinking like a Miami girl? Yes. I just pointed you out know, like, someone. Okay. Like, like explain that because I've heard Please. you say- Yeah. So for example, right? <laughs> this girl is sipping me. This girl is sipping. Yes, please. Explain. Yes, explain. Go ahead. Yeah. You wake up. Mm -hmm. If you watch the interview, one of the mm -hmm. funniest parts is seeing all the Miami women being shat on while Walter's there. Like the white girl beside me is very different. That being said, she's not into like designer, going crazy. Like, oh, I need to have this and that. It's more like she wants a good time with me. Okay, I don't know why I just got this random link. Miami, Florida. Let's look through. Wait, wait a second. Wait a second. 22, still in college. Ooh. <sighs> why do you think she, she's interested in you? Ask her. I was gonna say, can I answer this? Of course. <laughs> um, I feel like the first Merch. day that I met you, having that genuine conversation on the boat. like On a yacht. I, oh, on the boat. <laughs> <laughs> was it 60 foot long? Was it 85 foot? I couldn't even Free tell drink. you. I, see, I am a very big personality person. So if he came up to me and he just came and was like, hey, let me get your number, that's a no from me. The fact that he invited me and he's been, in, he invited me out before. Yeah. And it was just the fact that me and my roommate were sitting at home. Yacht. No, me and my roommate were sitting at home <laughs> yep. and I was like, wow, what are we going to do tonight? And then, like, at that moment, he texted me and he was like, hey, do you guys... with scooters or get on the yacht? Let's talk about it. And he's right. I'm not a materialistic person at all. I could be if I wanted to. I don't care about that shit. Like, my dream car is a fucking Honda Civic. Like, I don't... There's nothing about me materialistic. Hold on, hold on. You said he invited you out before. Why you didn't go before? Hold on, hold on, hold on. I was always hold busy on. or, like, I was pretty but new yacht, to... Hold on, hold on, I was right? living... Hold on, wait, wait, wait. No. You see what your problem is? You think that because I have clout, everyone wants me for clout. However, for you, that's that's true. For me, it's not. I actually have game, bro, right? That being said, hold on. That being said, right, bro? <laughs> not gay. Your experience, right, with girls is tainted because you want to see it for clout. Oh. That's what he did, bro. Walk me for me. Whores in this house. There's some whores in this house. There's some whores in this house. There's some whores in this house. I said certified whores freak. House. There's some whores Seven days a week. Wet ass P word. Make that pull out game week. Yeah, 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 you effing with some wet ass P word. Bring a. Can you explain what, what's on the screen? Her getting cash apped. That being said, I want to get to know the real you. I don't yeah, want to get to know you from your pocket. Like, okay, okay, I still Can I ask don't a question? Can I ask so, so, you're, so you're essentially basically proving what they say is wrong in terms of 
you don't give a fuck about a high value man, right? I don't. That's no. What, like that's you don't. No. So I, so it's funny. I care that he has a personality and I can be around but him. But you don't and care I if he's a high myself. value man. No, I really don't. I did not care about his chain. I did not care about his watch. No, no, I don't no. care that Beat it up, N-word. Catch a charge. Extra large and extra hard. Put this P-word right in your face. Swipe your nose like a credit card. I saw she hadn't been tainted yet. She hadn't been like in certain circles where like, you know what? Damn, she's gone through the streets. Dude, she doesn't want clout, bro. Honestly, she didn't want to do this live stream. She's doing this for me. So I appreciate her for that. <laughs> do I know you? <laughs> do I know you? I do a kego while it's inside. I actually have game, bro, right? Game. This is your alpha male dating coach. But anyways, let's <laughs> <laughs> Do I know you? <laughs> do I know you? I do a kego while it's inside. Spit in my mouth. Look in my eyes. This P word is wet. Come take a dive. <laughs> Beta bear. <laughs> <laughs> and personally, like I said, I'm that good. Let's just watch. Never forget this man has a thousand body counts, okay? This man slept with a thousand plus women, okay? Oh my god. Like, beginning to end, so how we met, the honest truth, no with, cap. With no cap, we met on Seeking. Yeah, so we, we met on there, we definitely uh, spoke, and then I got Instagram, and that was it for like a couple months. Yeah. And we, we didn't talk for like, a, for like a minute. We didn't talk for like months because I didn't really want to meet people um, for a while. I was kind of taking a break because I had an interesting like living situation at the time. Mm -hmm. So I was not meeting people. But We're talking about the savagery of women nowadays. <laughs> yeah. Last week you were with this dude. This week you're with this dude. <laughs> I see everything. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna say no names, <laughs> but I will say she's here. Oh, and she's beside fresh. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, beta girl. <laughs> oh my dear. What are you? She wasn't. She wasn't. She was ready to date. Oh my dear. Yeah, she was ready to date. Uh, <laughs> she wasn't ready to date. Let's just keep watching. Oh, you got something to do with yourself, Miranda? Wait, wait. Yeah. I feel like people are trying to expose me, but like, it's you have to like date around. I don't know. Hold She's on, single. you gotta come back. Hold on. Let's normalize playing the bachelorette in your personal life. Huh. You wanna have a hot girl summer? All right, bitch, you're gonna have a bunch of hot girl summers by yourself. Pause, pause, pause. No, don't, don't. All I'm gonna say now, nigga, it's my turn. That's all I'm gonna say. Okay, next. <laughs> it's embarrassing for a man to marry a hoe and try to turn her into a housewife. You know what's the scary part, man? Fatality. If you ask your wife for one of these girls, bro. You take her seriously, she can't have a pair bond. So what happens is you wife her up, you take her in, and she's hella hella muzzle on, on her body. You know what I'm saying? And at that point, what what do you get? A used beat up product that can't even work properly. I didn't say nothing. It's just, Myron. Just, just, it's not me. Just say, bro. It's Myron who's just, calling him out. Just, 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 Let's go. She she wanna be a bachelorette. Let her let her live her best life. Come on. Let's normalize playing the bachelorette in your personal life. We do what guys do and then we get so much shit for it, but y'all do it and then you're like, yo, bro, that's savage as fuck. Like you can't even be a fucking decent woman and not be a slut. Fuck out of here, bro. No, you dumb bitch. I'm not fucking insecure. I'm very secure in my goddamn confidence. I don't want to fucking wipe up no hoe. All right? And I'm tired of women out here telling dudes, small dick energy, small dick energy. You're insecure, you're insecure, you're insecure. Da, 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 da. Bitch, I'm not going to the Lamborghini dealership with 300 bands for a Lambo with 200,000 miles on it, bro. It's bullshit. I need you guys to hold these women accountable too. They got to meet your metric. We don't want hoes, okay? You want to be a hoe? That's fine. But you got to lay in your fucking bed and sleep there. Most guys, in reality, are not going to accept you for being a hoe and put a ring on it. It's always going to fucking bother them. Okay. Don't, don't. All I'm going to say now, nigga, it's my turn. I don't even subscribe to this thing. This is their idea. Yeah. These are these are uh, ideologies. By their definition, she is what she is, right? They, they consider her a hoe. That's the red pill movement. That's them. I'm not mad at it, mm. but Nick, Myron is. Bitch, it's bullshit. We use sugar sites, right, to hit up girls, and we don't pay a cent, and go with them, we get it for free. So, that being said, she told me, hey, I was on Seeking, and I said, bet, I go in there anyway, talk to chicks. We met on Seeking. Yeah, so we, we met on there. 
We definitely uh, spoke. And then I got Instagram. She told you she ain't tell you on the yacht, nigga. Nigga, we went on multiple days after the yacht. She's like, yo, I gotta be honest with you. Right? Because I don't want to mess up anything in the future. Most girls that you meet, bro, are on something, bro. They might not tell you. At least she shorty told me, bro. Like, in fact, she told me. I was like, but you know what? I respect that shit. If you, if, if I know guys are paying you for, to, to smash, mm -hmm. that right there is a, is a red flag for me. But what the fuck is she doing on there? Okay, so... 100% bro, I don't know what she's doing on there. That being said, hey, she might need some money. I don't know what's going on there, bro. <laughs> it was it a red flag when you found out she's on seeking arrangements and she decided to come link with you only when you were on the yacht? No, 100% no. Bro, in Miami, almost every girl you see that's, that's good looking, bro, is on sugar site. I thought she was different than all the other girls that she hasn't been tainted yet. But now she's doing whatever other Miami girl's doing. Okay. So, my honest to God truth body count, bro. No cap. You ready for it? It's over a thousand. I'm dead ass serious. I remember, I told you, right? I told you about in Barbados when... So basically, guys, I'm gonna break it down for you, right? So doing live right now. So in Barbados, right? I can tell you before. There's a whole culture of women coming from UK, coming from like, you know... Uh, uh, Italy. Beta! Because the way you talk about women, especially because you're in Miami, mm -hmm. you just proved that saying that if she's here and she's new, those rules don't apply. You don't talk to just a Miami audience. You talk to an audience that's literally all around the world. Mm -hmm. So you're pretty much telling your audience, everything I tell you doesn't apply to y'all because you're not in Miami. Mm. I thought you were giving universal rules. That's hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. We're, we're hold talking on. about her I got right you. Now. No, no, I know, I know. Yeah, yeah. But I'm 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 talking about how you are saying she doesn't apply to many things that you would say about the normal. Because not everybody that follows them are from Miami. That's my point. This yeah. advice doesn't apply to everybody, yeah. right? Because they live in that place where you've been in Miami. It's a weird spot. It's gonna warp your view of ladies, right? Sure. Oh yeah, they're all on sugar babies. It's like they're all just selling their pussy. Bro, that's that's what happens where you live specifically. <clears throat> as far as the whole incident. Personally, me personally, I don't think it's that big of a deal. I don't think it's that important. I do think it's more evidence of what we already know about Fresh, which is one, he's a liar. Okay, he needs, he's a fraudulent person, right? Claims to have this body count to sell his courses, claims to have met her and then went on dates, then found out she's on the Sugar Baby site. Then when it comes out that she's on Seeking Arrangements, then he actually looks at live stream where he's like, no, we met on Seeking Life. Everything is smoke and mirrors, right? Which is fine. At the end of the day, if you want to sell an image and you got to lie to do it, do it, okay? But as far as um, you, yeah, you, you're, you're definitely simping. Yeah, I, I mean, you guys know, and I think we all know this. If these two guys were hearing this story from any other man about him being involved with that woman, what would they call the dude? Straight up. Straight up. Blue pill, <clears throat> beta, all the other lame-ass terms that they got. Once it's one of them. Straight up. It's fine. You shouldn't date a girl like that. But you know, she did. And that's what you see a lot of from red pill coaches. They're gonna sell you on all these false ideas, right? They'll say, never get married, never get married. Half of them are married. Half of them are married. They'll tell you marriage is a trap, marriage is a trap. They get married. No one, one of them even had the audacity to say like, I don't know, I just, we just eloped, it just happened. What? That's just you, you spent years Screaming about marriage and how terrible it is mm -hmm. and that you would never do it and you just happen to get married? Mm -hmm. What? Then you're gonna go around and call ladies silly and stupid when they dance on single ladies by Beyonce when she's married to fucking Jay-Z, but look at you doing the same thing. That's it, man. It's all smoke and mirrors. But even the fans know that. Listen, listen. I, if there's one thing I can say about the Fresh Fit fan base is that they all know that yeah because whenever he says something yeah yeah the, the, all the comments like nigga yeah, yeah, we know you don't get any yeah, 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 so yeah, I'm, gonna, yeah. I'm gonna say they're not stupid i think they're really there for the entertainment but i'm like why do you need to lie to them yeah she, she <laughs> rough you ask her on multiple dates she never shows up then you're like yo come on a yacht and she shows up yeah she's not materialistic she's not 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 <laughs> her dream car is a civic Listen, and, anybody fine, buying and, this and fine and fine dining yeah and fine dining and getting cash after a bunch of money by dudes who apparently don't want anything in return Okay. Bro, if you don't get the fuck out of okay. here. Okay. <laughs> that being said. But anyways, let us know what you guys think in the comments below. What do you guys think about these red pill dating coaches? Are any of them really about what they claim to be about?